7 News reporter Dave Elias joins us now live from Ground Zero in New York. Dave. Well, the site is cleared now, but a haunting memory of the towers still remains. New buildings will be constructed here, and Ohio Valley steelworkers will be using the main ingredients, steel, and lots of it. It starts here. Steel is melted down in the Steubenville, Ohio plant and then shipped to Allenport, Pennsylvania to be rolled. Hundreds of steel coils like these are taken to Martins Ferry, Ohio, where they're galvanized and then they're formed here at Wheeling Corrugating's Beach Bottom Plant in West Virginia's northern Panhandle. Machines like this one are producing 1.2 million square feet of steel decking to build just one of the World Trade Centers. Now that you've seen how the steel is made here at Wheeling Corrugating, here's how it works. Pieces of this kind of steel will be placed side by side to be used as flooring. Then concrete will be poured into the grooves and that's what will actually form the flooring of the World Trade Center. We will fabricate it, roll form it to the specifications, lengths, cut lengths, and we'll cut it to the lengths as needed for the job and ship it out onto the World Trade Center. The steel decking will be cut into various sizes to accommodate a 51-story skyscraper. While management here won't say how much the project is costing the New York-based firm for the order, they did tell us this order of steel would take more than a year to fill. In fact, 14 months to be exact. Right, right now we anticipate the first shipment to be delivered the middle of October. So we would anticipate in the next several weeks to begin the roll forming process for the jobs as they get uh, as we get the cut list. So hopefully by the end of September, we'll already have product made and we'll be making plans for shipment to New York for the World Trade Center. 40 to 50 turns will be devoted to finishing this product and employees here don't seem to mind the extra work. Many of them say it's projects like this one that make them proud to be Ohio Valley steel workers. Get a chance to be part of the work of the World Trade Center and, and uh, to be have a hand in it, you know, because it's such a big thing. Trucks like this one will be making hundreds of trips to New York in the coming months, hauling the product to ground zero where it will forever symbolize a nation as strong as the steel it's built from. Well, it's been an emotional day for New Yorkers and people from all over America who came to pay their respects today. It's been a humbling experience to watch so many people live that grief all over again. Children reading out loud the names of loved ones that they lost here at Ground Zero, many of them still heartbroken. Live from New York City, I'm Dave Elias. Now back to you. All right, Dave, thanks a lot for that report.